My name is Jeff Clark, and I'm here today to talk about Collision Mitigation Systems, or CMS. We'll start by going through a few scenarios. I live near Green Bay, Wisconsin. Four, five, six days a week I go through Chicago. And I'm used to it. And things still aggravate me, especially on Friday night when I'm trying to get home. Imagine the scenario, you, you've made it through the circle, you're coming up to the Kennedy Eden split, you want to go to the right at the Eden split, the Kennedy backed up as usual, and then you get the guy, you know the guy, the guy in the BMW over here, the guy that comes up to Belmont, got to get off at Edison half a mile up the road, he's in the left hand lane, but God dang it, he's going to get off at that exit. He comes over in front of you, just as you look over here to see if you can get over the right, he hits the brakes in front of you, truck checks up, that's a collision mitigation system. Later on, you're getting up the Eden's Expressway, life was pretty good, you hit 55 miles an hour, you're going to the speed limit, life is good, you, 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 you've cleared the worst of it. You get that one guy, that guy in the middle lane that's got to go 50 miles an hour, you know the guy, drives you nuts, and you start hearing the beeping, beep, 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 that's the collision mitigation system until you get too close. Uh, next scenario, you, you're up. You've made it through Milwaukee, life is pretty good. You set the cruise at 62, you got very little interaction at 62 miles an hour with the collision mitigation system. Think about collision mitigation system, the faster you set it, the more you're gonna have interaction with other traffic in the system. And you know you're gonna get that guy though, the guy that's 62 and a quarter mile an hour, a pretty covered truck. He's gotta drive that truck for all it's worth all the time. You're running 62, trying to get some fuel mileage. And he passes you and he cuts in right in front of you, just as he, he cuts in too close, you know the guy. And, you know, the system checks out. It's a hassle. Fourth scenario, you, you, you cruise it up. You clear the traffic. You know what? I'm going to set up to 65, get home five minutes sooner. That's fine. You know, set up to 65. You know, you get a beginning on the guy that was going 63. Well, you see that and all of a sudden you notice you're not getting any gaining on him anymore. Well, that's the adaptive cruise. The adaptive cruise basically what it does is sets you three and a half seconds up behind the vehicle in front of you and follows at the same speed. Now, remember, the collision mitigation system is an automated system. It doesn't have a brain. It reacts to what it sees. It sees photographs. You're seeing a video. You can see what's going to happen. It doesn't see what's going to happen. It sees what's happening now. You've been driving. You've got a million miles or more under your belt. Your experience. You're the professional driver. You're the professional driver. You know, you're well trained. Your experience. You're well rested, and you're professional. If you do that, you can override the system. Collision avoidance system. The driver can always override the collision mitigation. Take that first scenario. It's Chicago. Things happen. You know things are going to happen. You're aggravated. You just come through the circle. You know, another hour you'll be in Wisconsin. You see the guy coming over, you know he's going to over, tap the brakes, you tap the brakes, the system doesn't react. Now, the whole thing with the system is to make it so it doesn't react. That scenario of Edens, it's a hassle. The guy's a pain in the hinder, I know he is. You know, either back off him, pass him on the right, get over it, don't let him wreck your day. Same thing with that company truck. When he gets about halfway around, you give him a break, give you a break, give the people behind him a break, hit the cancel cruise, it'll slow you down about 60 miles an hour when he gets by, he'll get by you. He gets about a truck length a truck ahead of you, hit the resume cruise, go back to your 62, life will be good, you just lost 15 seconds. Not that big a deal. That scenario when you're coming up behind him, that's the adaptive cruise taking over. Basically, you could override that as well. Make sure there's nobody in the left-hand lane, put your foot in it, get around them, set, keep it at 65, you'll be fine. Thing is, remember about collision mitigation system. I, I've always thought, thought of it kind of as the enemy. It's really a backup system, it's a safety net. But my goal when I drive was to not let it do anything. And basically, how you do that is to out anticipate it. It can only think out three and a half seconds ahead. Start thinking out more ahead. I would anticipate it. You know what it's going to do. Don't let it do it. You react before you do, before it does, and pretty soon you'll forget you even have the system. That's what it should be doing. Thank you. I'm Jeff Clark.